They should make it a default thing where every month they just give you some of this. Hey gang, what's going on? Juan here to open up the June edition of the Pro Wrestling Loot Box, where for 20 bucks a month you get a box where you don't know what you're going to be getting. It could be a mask, could be something really, really cool regarding the world of wrestling, and you can get yourself a 10% discount of your first box by going to ProWrestlingLoot.com and using the code Bite that at checkout. Now, I apologize if I'm a little low energy. This is actually the latest unboxing uh, or, or the latest that I've done an unboxing in because we actually just finished recording episode 199 of the podcast. We have episode 200 taking place next week with some major announcements. And we also have a giveaway for the uh, episode, actually, a $25 Amazon gift card. Just drop a review of the podcast at either Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, and I am seriously struggling to opening this. So I'll just get a pair of scissors out here. So let's check what we have here, open up the box, and it does seem like we have ourselves a t-shirt that is color, whoa, oh, it's, it's multicolored. Let's put that to the back here. I'm not sure what I'm holding. It's feel, it feels like a comic book, maybe? Holy crap, this is awesome. A pro wrestling illustrated magazine. So I've actually never physically held or even read a pro wrestling illustrated magazine. So this is a historical magazine that wrestlers upon wrestlers have talked about being subscribed to this magazine for decades. Oh, I can, I can get 50% discount off the newsstand edition. So not bad at all celebrating everything that happened at WrestleMania, which is iconic for me considering that we went to WrestleMania. So I got to take a look at that. Let me just see if there's a page i can show I, I saw scott steiner here's a picture of the honky tonk man he's cool he's cocky and rumors have stated that he is indeed bad up next we have ourselves a, a watch is this a watch this is a watch what this is a very nice quality a wrestling mask watch so like i honestly don't know if this is related to any wrestler in particular i'll check it out later just to double check that it does indeed work but check this out this is the first time that i've ever gotten a watch i don't really wear watches but something like this i'll consider wearing every now and then just because it's cool it's got a nice black color it's got some really nice flexible texture plus it's very simplistic you know like it just looks really cool you look at that, people are going to be wondering where you got that from, and then you can say that Juan sent you to get that pro wrestling lewd box. Up next, I have no idea what I'm grabbing here. Is this a poster? I think it is a poster. So I haven't caught up on my Lucha Underground, but this is Lucha Underground themed, and this is Lucha, Lucha Underground Dario Cueto's Web of Corruption. So I guess like this sort of links up where everybody is which is super cool. I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is. So you can actually figure out like who is aligned with who. So you see Rey Mysterio there, you see Dario Cueto there, you see Joey Ryan, who I saw live at WrestleCon, Cortez Castro, Prince Puma, you see uh, Dragon Azteca and Dragon Azteca Jr. Really, really fine quality. This isn't just standard paper. This is real uh, poster type quality. So not bad whatsoever. Let's move on to the next item. I still have this in here. Can I make this pop? Oh yeah, listen to that. Is that, they should make it a default thing where every month they just give you some of this. They just give you some of this and it makes the stress go away. So up next, we have ourselves the traditional eight by 10, which, well, something fell. Well, let me put this over here. The box is empty, so let's just throw it over there. I don't need you box anymore. You didn't really do anything to me, but real talk, I'm, I'm gonna recycle you, so you're gonna leave my house. Whoa, check this. Oh, I'm gonna be spoiled, so let me, let me actually see if I can avoid spoiling myself of the other stuff. So first up, we have this King of Hearts Owen Hart trading card which is super nice. Actually, I have a Bret Hart autograph on my wall there, which if you can see, I'm, I'm slowly changing things up. I'm adding some non-wrestling stuff. You know, life can't all be about wrestling. So I can definitely put this alongside my Bret the Hitman Hart 8x10. That is autographed by the Hart Man himself. So we have the Hart section at the Juan Bite That Dungeon thing. And we have ourselves an 8x10 of 
Leo Rush. So I actually don't know too much about him, but I have watched a couple of matches of Leo Rush, and this is an independent superstar that is incredibly athletic. He's very aggressive in the ring, and it's super cool, right? How, how he can get autographs from wrestling legends. We've gotten some Rock and Roll Express stuff. We've gotten a little bit of everything, and it keeps things really interesting, and, and it motivates you, as I've stated multiple times. It motivates you to figuring out who are these people. Now, that may not be for everybody, but if you're open to things outside of the WWE, check this out. I got a Johnny Gargano autograph before he was in NXT, and now, I can't talk about that right now. I can't talk about that right now. So without further ado, the last item is the shirt, which leads to the shirt size check, which I'm having trouble actually finding the collar of the shirt. Seriously, where the hell? This has never happened before. Oh, okay. And the shirt size is medium. We're doing okay. We got some Hanes Comfort Blend action. And the shirt is like, it's like blue. It's like dark blue. Yeah, that kind of comes off on the camera. So revealing in three, two, one. Bam. Whoa, this is awesome. This is technically now my second uh, Shinsuke Nakamura themed shirt, so let's just take a closer look at it. Really dig in this style. I like how they have the ropes, like right there in the middle. You see the King of Strong style. So it's like not super obvious that it's Nakamura, but as I've stated time and time again, it's just cool that it's just a badass looking shirt. You don't have to like Nakamura to, to really appreciate the, the design, right? Like things like this take skill. Like right now, in preparation for things that we're gonna be doing in the future for Bite That, I have learned that music production and just designs as a whole, it seems like this seems easy in practice, but when you're dealing with a blank slate where you don't know what design you wanna work on, you know, and you wanna make it happen, it's damn near impossible. And I love that whoever they have working on these designs is a very creative person that leads to creating some very, very awesome things. So let's just take a quick look here at the reveal. So every single month, they always highlight a bunch of community creators. This is the uh, previous shirt. We got a Harley, uh, Harley race shirt. Uh, before we got the awesome mask so really really cool stuff and just to recap we got the personally signed 8x10 from superstar leo rush we got the wrestling lucha libre watch we got the lucha underground poster we got the wrestling shirt from the king from japan to the usa we got the pro wrestling illustrated magazine and we get ourselves the pro wrestling loot card which you can get one every single month by being a subscriber. Now, for me, I think easily my favorite item of the month, you'd think it's this, you'd think it's the watch because it's pretty cool, but because I've never been uh, able to just read an, uh, an edition of Pro Wrestling Illustrated, it's gotta be the magazine. It's got some substance. I can honestly probably put this somewhere in the bathroom once I'm done reading, so I can just read about WrestleMania time and time and time again. But this is just really, really awesome how they're able to contribute. And you know what? If it's good, it incentivizes people to subscribe to the uh, magazine. So now I would love to know which was your favorite item in this box. Definitely let me know in the comments as well as if you've gotten yourself a pro wrestling loot box either you know thanks to some of the unboxing videos that i've done you know shout out to the person that watched the previous video and let me know that they subscribe because of these videos like this would not be fun without your involvement the fact that you guys check out these videos we can talk about the items what should they add apparently they sent out a message stating that action figures will be coming back so i'm looking forward to that and as i mentioned at the top of the video next week we got ourselves episode 200 of the podcast a lot of awesome things are going to be happening you can support us directly by becoming a supporter on patreon so right now something really cool that we just added is an exclusive discord channel lifetime access so if you become a supporter on patreon for as little as one dollar you get a bunch of perks and added to that is lifetime access to a Discord channel. There, we talk about wrestling, we talk about games, but it's this really nice community that we want to build, like, that is integrated, that we watch all these videos, you guys watch all these videos, but ultimately, we can just become friends, we can hang out, plus you get to support the podcast directly. You can also do that by going to audibletrial.com slash bite that. You get 30 days free of Audible, plus you get yourself a free audio book. 
If you haven't, take a look at the previous unboxing videos. They're also available right here on this channel. So stay tuned. Episode 200 takes place next week. Major Dixie Carter level announcements are going to be happening. So thank you for watching. And until next time, we will definitely be back with more right here on Bite That.